Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It is your girl on Tagum Muloy with another banger always banging. To be part of the royalty family or gang, you need to subscribe. Then you can choose to be either or because I am both. To my return, I'm a subscriber, my everything. Your love does speak volume and I appreciate you guys so much. So please don't forget to like, comment, and press the notifications button to get notified every time I upload a new video. And that is on period. So let us get into this video, my loves. <laughs> talking red flags or things that i would not be with a man for right now that i was that when i look at hindsight or now that i've grown i'm like bitch how could you do that to yourself what happens to self-worth what happens to self what happens to you because you didn't know me back then Oh yeah, so I wrote a list of the things that men did, red flags for me that I left the relationship for, or I kind of stood for, or yeah, they happened, guys, life happens, eh? so let's get into them. <laughs> okay, so disclaimer, I got this from Gina Janine, Gina Janine, so the first thing that was a red flag for me was when this guy i dated he only wanted to be with me like private places or spaces we cannot be girlfriend and boyfriend in front of people like i would walk this side he would walk that side i would walk forward and then he would come behind me so that we meet at a point or place where it's a bit private mm -mm. then I was like you know what he just wants to respect his elders church people you know respecting but even when we're not at church his main focus was people not seeing him with him with me because he's something important you know that was a reflect for me because as my person why don't you want to walk with me why don't you want the whole world to know that I'm your girl and you're my man, you're my boo thing, you're my everything. Why? 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 So for me that was a just a red flag, you know, that was really a red flag. We could see we cannot walk together, people cannot know of us, but we're dating, we're doing things, you know, and then we meet on Sundays only, pretend like we're going to church and then we're not going to church and then we're just chilling, you know? No, it was just a red flag, okay? a red flag and the next thing was this person i'm not going to specify when i dated this person who it was i'm just gonna everyone is here if they know themselves they know if they don't guys it's not important what it was important was how could i do that to myself why did i do that to myself An unkept person like guys i know sometimes we get this hobo wish feeling or mood where we don't want to do anything we don't want to look good we don't you know and that's okay like no i don't mind that because 80 percent of the time i'm a hobo in this house but within your hoboness be clean guys yo i dated this person yo guys it's not a red flag it's just something that i would not tolerate right now this person didn't like bathing or spawned bathing and sometimes it would be sad because then i could smell you know the smell that smells when a person doesn't want to bath you know and they were so lazy and kept their space was just so untidy their clothes was full of stains like sometimes guys it happens that we are right now we are eating you know and you stain yourself you know but this person would literally wear the same shirt for a day or two days and go to work with it with all those stains oh my god and they, they didn't want to bath i have to force them would you know please go bath what this 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 guys i cannot stand 
a man who's just so dirty i don't like dirty men guys now i'm not asking you to go wear gucci and do all these things be in your simple sweats and tea short and tea whatever thing you want to wear but be clean be clean like you can spray a little cologne here and there but guys this person i don't know if they had a problem with water or problem or what i had a problem with him i don't understand but guys it was just too much for me honestly like they don't sometimes they didn't even want to brush their teeth <laughs> and then they would want to come in oh no lord <laughs> things we did for men never again they would just literally eat a gum like sometimes we had we would have sleepover and stuff like that and obviously you come with your toiletry bag right like you're going to brush your teeth and stuff guys this person was just like no i'll brush them at home <sighs> guys there's a lot so right now um it's a red flag and also it's something that i don't tolerate when a man does you wrong right let's say they cheated let's say they slapped you let's say all these wrong things like that like dramatic things like that they did that name you can think of whatever i'm not giving you my exact scenario or what happened but i'm just giving you an idea of the extent of the issue right so Shapo, this person was like he did me bad right so because i wanted to leave and i was tired like i was up to here they fake cried like they fake cried like they cried acted like they crying i don't want to lose you and then thinking i can i'm feeling like you know as a woman you get fed up so i was not even touched by those crocodile tears like i was just like look at this idiot like look at this idiot does he know me does <laughs> so they did that and then after that when i was like okay it's fine whatever they became worse so to me it's a red flag because a man crying trying to be sorry and stuff like that is like you manipulating me you making me feel bad for what you did to me it's you making me question or second guess myself or just make me feel like shit because of what you did so now i'm no longer um angry at you i'm angry at myself for not being maybe good for you or enough for you you know so it's a red flag for me in that term or instance because of the situation but i wouldn't date that person today because fuck you and your crocodile tears i can also cry me i'm a crier baby so imagine if i cry every time i do shit like no no so no fake crying men crying in general unless it's on um a wedding day and i'm walking down the aisle nigga you better cry you better you better shed it here you better hold them tears i better see you being like because i'm walking down the aisle other than that save the fucking tears for things that are important just not this girl okay Period. i dated someone who whenever i had an issue like when them let's say whenever they had issues they would raise this issue um i don't like you i don't like what you did i don't like what you said i don't like how you moved i don't like what you wear or wore you get me okay yeah sorry babe i'll if i'm wrong one thing about me i never say sorry until uh, unless i know i'm wrong if i'm not wrong you ain't gonna get a sorry from me okay so if i'm wrong then i will apologize like i'm sorry that i spoke to you that way whatever 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 the case is right okay come and then when i want to raise my issues my concerns my emotional state of the things that you're putting me through and you deem them as nagging you deem them as you always angry you deem them as you're always fighting the crazy girlfriend bitch bitch there was a guy who did that like every time i wanted to raise a concern or i was not happy with something i was deemed the nagging girl i was deemed the crazy one the angry girlfriend the, the girlfriend who doesn't want him to do stuff but we would agree on something that you know what 
since we are now dating we're going to limit this and this whenever we go out we're coming at this and this time whenever you get me we set rules we set boundaries we spoke and most of the things were suggested by him now that he is having fun and doing them i am crazy for reprimanding for being affected by those decisions for feeling like i'm not considered or whatever so now he is like to his friends to whoever that i'm cuckoo i'm angry i'm always nagging i don't want him to live bitch please i cannot be here limiting myself while you are there being so unlimited no that that's not how it works and i'm not going to compare myself and be like yeah if he does it i do it if no i just i'm just not an idiot for not doing certain things because i'm respecting you and i don't want to hurt your feelings boo so uh, guys i i just feel like i won't ever do that against myself ever 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 again this other time this one press guy was like um you know these facebook people we started talking 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 off of it starts with commenting or rather reacting on stories commenting on stories you know you look good whatever shit like that and for me too guys first i would do that oh it was a long time ago though hi sharp this guy then wanted to meet up with me because then i still okay i'm gonna give now a clue of when this was so i'm not gonna state but then sharp oh, we wanted to meet and i was like um i don't think i want to meet um i'm good like it's great i like to keep it here in the texts in the dms and this guy was just like i can send you money so that you can come to me and i'll give you money to come back home and i'm like no money is not an issue guys money was never an issue money is never an issue so if i wanted to go i would have went it's not about the money so he was like no if it's about money um I'll, I'll give you money how much do you need how much is an uber come on i'll take even i'll take you home even um i know it's far but you know guys i immediately blocked that man i think more than anything i know i'm making it sound like it's nothing but the way he said it like money is not an issue whatever that i want i should tell him he'll fetch me i should not give him excuses because he's gonna give me money and once he gives me that money i should know that i'm his girl now you owning me because you're giving me money now you own now you basically buying me so basically nike i'm just the thing that you can buy and own and whatever the shit you may like nigga 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 please nigga you <laughs> so i instantly blocked him and then when i blocked him he proceeded to go to my instagram and let me know that even if i block him he will make fake accounts just so he gets me you know those type of guys like i will get you and after getting you i will show you that bitch please i blocked him i blocked him everywhere like one thing about me i will block you i don't have time for your nonsense it's my apps it's my social apps never own pd subflug on my apps you are blocked you are deleted done okay done so so my issue was just that he was very pompous and boastful about the money he has how much he has what he's doing he was a very well off man not like i'm not gonna lie he was very well off living on his own has his drop his car he is just the guy i feel like if you if i was at an age that i am now i would have dated him but i wouldn't date him too because I would always be reminded of the money he has what he has and i feel like it would be those types that would take their stuff when they're angry or if you leave them then you leave with how you came i don't know if i'm making sense so i was just like block 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 a block away and a block away and a block away and, and then i met this one <laughs> this one always was so fascinated about threesomes like we haven't even it was over the phone like these over the phone type of guys are very weird like we've never met i think we're supposed to but i kept on postponing sometimes guys whenever people say let's meet let's meet you just don't want to meet so you keep postponing you keep making excuses it just never felt right for me to go and meet up with this person so we never did until i blocked gear yeah, block gear yeah, block gear yeah, blocker please so this person was so fascinated about girl and girl but him sitting and watching um two guys one girl and him sitting and watching me you know 
with the other person so it's basically just me being pleasured and stuff by other people and he just wants to watch he doesn't want to touch he doesn't want to do nothing he just wants you to do the deed and he is there so basically we are not virtual we are live real time porn stars for him real time <clears throat> yeah and i think he said it twice at first time i was like okay it's what you want i am not i don't think there's something i really am into <laughs> so he said it the first time i was like okay it's your preference okay cool me i i don't said so the second time i'm like oh you really like this thing hey no it's just that he likes he it gives him pleasure he has done it multiple times so i think obviously when you keep doing something that you like you want to keep on with that so with whoever that you want to meet there's certain things that you still want to keep doing because you find pleasure and you know stimulate your mind and shit like that okay he said it the third time i'm like bitch please understand that i ain't ever gonna do any three times like that not with you know anybody anybody so i feel like i'm not the girl for you you shouldn't even be discussing shit like that i said it from the god the get go that i am not the one so why do you keep mentioning it why do you keep saying it like i am not the one so no i didn't mean to offend you and stuff this is not a red flag it's just something that i wouldn't tolerate or be with a man for you know so yeah i'm like it's, he's like oh sorry just that it's something that he likes and because we are talking stages he just wants me to know that it's something that might happen in a relationship if we do get into a relationship i'm like <laughs> break the pump up break put the brakes on baby put the brakes on because we're not even gonna be in a relationship to start with so there's nothing for me to consider to begin with so and that block again like a sana one thing okay guys then i now understood why my boyfriend does not want and why i think i am very of male besties female besties right so i'm not gonna tell you guys the whole context because i feel like this needs a story time on its own but i had umgani right this guy was a friend that we normally talk on the phone we never met he left far he lived far and i lived here so it was impossible for us to even meet so this person was someone we talked daily and it was never a talk one thing footy about me if i friend zone you i don't even look at you think of you or even no i will compliment you if you're looking good like your friend i'll go here to you yo that but never a like oh you look so sexy type of thing oh zeddy bring your ass over here type of thing no like i keep i feel like i kept once i friends very professional relational every professional it based on so mgani was single when i met him so we would always talk about who he shall add who's shallowing kabana so shabu mgani ended up ended up finding someone so now my thing is why i don't want to ever ever have the situation of male friends and being close with them i do have friends that are male but it's not that close like that like that like that it's just a thing i would say i see you know we always check out in goopy kapami robo or a i'm for doing trying to palama liana you get me it's that type of thing but never this one ha a shop okay it's male mgani gets a, a baby like a girlfriend like they become close now the you know so obviously now me as a girl i would want my boyfriend to limit certain things with other girls because now i'm here now there's no reason for you to even have female besties and shit like that but Magani was so persistent on keeping me in his life and i'm like well nah, i'm that girl like do what you gotta do <laughs> your relationship should come first before us i know it might not work and robo god forbid because i don't know where they are right now but it might not work right but still it's not for you to like eh, eh, guys anyway mugani guys long story short mugani lied to the girl and said that he deleted my numbers we're no longer talking i gave him space meanwhile mugani bought a new phone and mugani is he's very good he was very fine noble got a new phone and just told me that he gave that sim to his sister so i should talk to him to the new one but he told the girl that no i told her to give us space and she respecting that guys this one time after we've been talking we've been you know 
he's been telling me about the relationship and the few problems he's had um i think i was in a new relationship then and it was okay for me like guys it turns out that this girl looked okay when she found out about me right she took my numbers so obviously she sees my profile my profile is a public thing even if i didn't save a number you can still see my profile so she was like going through that other phone but she kept seeing this guy's name but the profile looks like mine because she kept on taking mine too you know a woman's instinct not to be messed with so he calls she calls my she calls me hi hi this is Ngani's girl hi babe how are you doing one thing about me i'll baby you all around long uh, uh wait that was so wrong i'll i'll call you babe like fucking hell so shut up he she asked me do you still talk to Ngani? yes we did when last did you this morning oh, okay can you please stop talking to him blah, 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 blah. she lets me know the situation i'm like baby say no more say less consider it done because that is fucked up the fucked up thing was guys Mugani started making or trying to clone this girl Nam. she was basically becoming my clone my photocopy you get me everything i had this dress she was like you remember the dress that you bought on facebook he bought it for me and said i should wear it the hairstyle i used to love necklace braids guys like i used to love necklace she i mean he started forcing her to do those braids like he was basically making this girl look like me dress like me in whatever way possible and it was not working so now i understood why mgani was so upset with asking me about my man stuff like that how's you get me now i understood what the fascination was about because he felt like he wanted to really make a replica of me silently wanting me because i the girl was like there's so many photos of you so many photos of you and i'm like he doesn't show me that like he never showed me that guys he never did so basically long story i feel like this needs a story time but jay i blocked him i don't know if he found out that the girl told me or whatever he found himself blocked everywhere numbers in j blacklisted that girl because i understood how she felt so that's why i'm like i'm never doing those female bestie male bestie type of thing and i understand why my boyfriend hates them and boundaries and stuff guys like hey don't date people if you feel like you're not ready for them hey don't try and make other people be other people because you know mm -mm. it was a lot it was a lot so to me it was a red flag and something that i would never do again a red flag a red flag in a sense of like like but anyway this other one wanted to make me feel insecure a bit because he was insecure and scared that people will take me from him and had a problem with what i wore and stuff like that you know but it was never a thing of like he said it said it said it it was just a little joke still comment here and there and i was just like you know what i feel like you have a problem with what i wear and i'm not gonna start just because of you i want to decide to stop i will respect you to certain entities and levels or extremes but just not everything now i'm not gonna lose myself to make you happy what if you're not even my forever you're just for a season and i'm here lost thinking where do i pick up the pieces how do i start again my, and no you're not that important if my parents are okay with me you have no choice whether you're okay or not it's up to me i will respect you however i want to and that is all on that so one thing guys i did to all of that guys this is not everything this is just a little we have a part two of the extreme things like the extreme freaky things oh oh hmm. yeah we'll have a part two but yeah one thing i did was block a block a block a block a block a all of them i know my worth guys and i can stay for a little while just to check and confirm which is vele vele huelo vele vele huelo so no anyway guys this is the video end of the video thank you so much for watching till this far please don't forget to subscribe like comment and all these things and please there will be a part two soon watch out for that watch my previous video subscribe if you have not subscribed can't do anything but that again rabiva rabiva
and not be falling like this way subscribe subscribe anyway it's a little bit from the girl here to you to say good afternoon bye